Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the format of an IPv4 address. And when we write out the IP address, we write it out as a set of four octets in a dotted decimal format. So you see an example of an IPv4 address here, 192.168.10.15. Each of those sets of numbers is an octet. So 192 is the first octet, 168 is the second, 10 is the third, and 15 is the fourth octet. Each octet is 8 bits long. 8 bits, that's why we call it the octet. And if you multiply 8 times 4, that gives you your 32 bits, which makes up the IPv4 address. Okay, first thing I want to do is show you where you can find out the IP address on your different hosts and devices. So let's look in Windows first. So I'll open up a command prompt here. So CMD to open the command prompt. And the Windows command to see your IP address is ipconfig. And I've got a load of output on here because I'm running VMware on my laptop too. So I've got a lot of virtual addresses on here. Let's scroll back a bit until I find my wireless network. This is the one I'm actually connected to my network on. And here, if I mark this, you can see that my IPv4 address is 192.168.1.9. My subnet mask that you'll learn about in the next lecture is 255.255.255.0. So that's also in dotted decimal format. And the default gateway, which is the router that my PC would use if it needs to get out to a different network, is at 192.168.1.1. Now, I'm going to tie this all together when we get to the section later, which is called the life of a packet. And in there, I'm going to detail how traffic gets from the source to the destination. For now, I just want you to know that if traffic is going to another host on the same subnet, then it can go there directly. If traffic is going to a host on a different subnet, it has to go there via a router. So you can see my IP address is 192.168.1.9. That's the IP address on my laptop here. The IP address on the router I would use to get out to other networks is at 192.168.1.1. The other information you can see here as well is my IPv6 address and also the IPv6 default gateway. We'll be talking about IPv6 in a later section. Okay, so in Windows, IP config to get that information. Let's have a look on Linux as well. So I'm going to open up an SSH session here to a Linux machine that I've got running. And I'll get the command prompt on Linux. I'm going to enter my username and my password. And then the command to see the IP information on Linux is ifconfig. So IP config on Windows, if config for interface on Linux. And you can see here that the IP address on this Linux host is 172.23.4.2. And the subnet mask, the same as it was on Windows, 255.255.255.0. Now in Windows, IP config will show you the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway, which is the local router. In Linux, it shows the IP address and the subnet mask. To get the default gateway, the command is IP route. And you can see here the default route for my default gateway is 172.23.4.254. Okay, so that's how you get the IP address in Windows and Linux. Finally, let's have a look and see how we get it in Cisco iOS. 
So I've already got an SSH session open here to a Cisco router. I'm going to enter the command enable to get to the enable prompt so I can see my show commands. And actually, I don't think I've configured an IP address on this router yet. Let's just check. The command for that is show IP interface brief. Oh, I have. Okay, so on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, you can see the IP address is 192.168.10.1. To get more information, because this is only giving me the IP address, I can't see the subnet mask here. So let's do a show interface. I could do a show interface or a show IP interface. And I can see for fast ethernet 00, zero the internet address is 192.168.10.1 and the subnet mask is a slash 24. The subnet mask can either be written in slash notation or in dotted decimal, and you'll find out about that in the next lecture. With my router, I don't have a default gateway on here because your router, it's the device that knows about all the different networks, so it doesn't just point at one other router, it's going to have lots of routes in here. You'll find out about routing on the router in other sections a bit further on in the course. Okay, so IP config on Windows, IF config on Linux, and show interface on our Cisco iOS. That it's the same commands for both our routers and our switches. Okay, let's go back to the slides. Next thing to tell you about is static and automatic addressing on our important devices like our, our fixed devices like our servers, network infrastructure devices like routers, switches and firewalls, also on our printers, usually we will manually assign the IP address on there. For our laptops and our desktop PCs, they'll normally be assigned an IP address automatically through the use of DHCP, which is the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. We're going to cover how to set that up later on. The reason that you want your PCs to get their IP address automatically, if you imagine we're in an office with 6,000 people for a, a large company, you're not going to want to have to go around 6,000 different PCs and configure the IP address manually on all of them. You can centralize that through the use of a DHCP server. It's much more convenient. But for your fixed devices where you want to make sure the IP address is what you think it is and it's never going to change, like on your servers and on your routers, you'll do it manually on them. You're going to have much less servers and routers, so it's not so much hassle to manually set it there. Okay, to understand how the logical separation between our different IP subnets works, you need to understand the IP address in binary. That's why we had that binary lesson in the last lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.